Hi everyone, it's Amy, and I'm hoping everyone is enjoying their Mother's Day. Here is my beautiful roses that my husband got me yesterday. And we went out to breakfast and went for a boat ride. But I um, want to show you, because it was such a nice weekend, I didn't want to spend um, any any of this beautiful weather downstairs in the basement crafting. So I brought some um, materials up for making flowers. And I let me take you down so I can show you. Um, these flowers are made out of the pleated trim and very simple to make. I just um, cut, punched out a bunch of circles and the centers are all different but they're the um, 12 millimeter centers from Saw Crafters and placed uh, inside of the, these are the real rhinestone um, buckles. So I really like how sparkly they turned out. And I've got three colors here. Actually, one is lace, but this is kind of like a, a beige, beigey, kind of a pinky beige color, pleated trim. And I varied the sizes. This is more of a chocolate brown. And some of the sizes are bigger. This is a, um, a little lace almost looks like a lollipop whoops but that is what do you call that kind of lace I don't know the cotton lace and then I made a lots of um, white this is the largest one this is the three layer look at that shine and this is smaller with the white inside. I've got some with the pink and let's see this one is another pink here's a light blue and then here's a real roughly white one and a smaller white one. So I made um, three smalls. Let me line those up. Three of the small ones and then the largest ones are right here are these three and I'm not using my tripod so I'm probably sh shaking it so those are my flowers and I as I was making flowers I realized that um, I could might as well make a card for my niece who just graduated from college so this is the Prima printery paper and this um, die cut is uh, from my favorite things and I've got some wild orchid rose wild orchid crafts rose and some s10 from I am roses and there's one of the flowers I layered that paper um, distress the edges and on the back I have a this is a lace background stamp from Stampin' Up. And then the inside, uh, I just layered some other Prima paper. So that's it for my haul. Um, I wanted to let you know that I haven't forgotten about my subscriber giveaway coming up. I'm waiting for a couple things to come in the mail, and then I'll put that together full of good stuff so hang in there I'll probably get that out oh I don't know whenever they come in probably by next weekend so talk to you later thanks for stopping by bye bye